action. Oh man, up last night checking, still searching on this. This, <coughs> wow, I can't believe what keeps popping up on this friggin' guy. Mr. 112 Dirtbag, huh? And why not make fame off of your fame, you piece of fuck? <sighs> wow. I can't believe this guy has just all kinds of stuff going on, boy. Um, this is a Reddit. Redditors. Like I keep saying in the past, Reddit, man, is is full of bizarre friggin' people. I mean, come on. I don't know what you would think the people in Reddit were the friggin' wackos out there. I got a comment I got to go over the other day that I posted a dream in the Skinwalkers form. <laughs> oh, man. I'm still getting my balls busted. Saying I write like a 12 year old. You have a wife and kids that sound like a 12 year old. It's like, oh my god. I got something nice I'm gonna say to that guy. But, anyways, I don't know what is going on with this case. But, uh, you wanna talk about messed up. And supposedly now, off this Redditor's page in Alliance Auto Body and Auto Sales Shop, right? This place is not too far from Amherst College. It's in Amherst. And supposedly now I was you know, I was kind of you know, the, yeah, picky on opening up this Reddit, uh, I hate when this damn screen shuts off, it's recording, why don't it stay on, you jerk, <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't know where this is coming from, but like I say, everything I've read so far, and this is why I like to do videos like this, because things change, or things get added, or things are missing, you know, the, the, I got people swearing at me, and one person, one lady said, you don't know what you're talking about, you're reading other people's ads, well, how about I expose all these, you know, you need to expose them all, to come and determine the truth, you need to look into everything that is said about the case, just in case, right, something might be missing, or something's a lie, or, you know, you gotta keep looking, and this is what takes time. <clears throat> you know, it's about a wonder why the police maybe could be involved, <clears throat> but also, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe gave up, you know, don't put full time into it, because it's just a bizarre case. And I mean, the girl's missing. Yeah, I'm sure they keep their... <clears throat> like I said, I got a comment that the house was... Uh, did get searched and ripped up the floor at the basement. Um, and pro probably Mr. Murray there probably paid the people to uh, do that. You know, pay him to redo the floor, to check... <clears throat> you know, thinking about it, maybe that was a hideaway for the police, not for the police, but for the person who kidnapped her. That's why the dog supposedly smelt her in that basement. Someone could have knocked her out, brought her to that house. If they knew the person, like... <laughs> Like, all these addresses keep coming up. You don't know who knows who. <clears throat> like I said, Molly Bish. 112 Dirtbag, his brother, his friend. We're all around in that time era. So who knows who, who knows what, and what's really going flapped around in this area. 
So, I mean, if that's the case and they found that scent going in that, that means she got knocked out, literally carried to that friggin' basement and hidden. Then the police come. Then they do a little investigation. When the fire and all the smoke clear, there you go. Take the body to whatever you're going to do with it. But that's just my thoughts and theories on that. This, on the other hand, <laughs> this, in, in a way, it's, you know, got some, eh, oomph to it. But is it real? <clears throat> I mean, come on. They're trying to say in this article that Murray was in a love triangle and at that, she was with Islam people. Um, <clears throat> and the Islam people own this. So she was supposed to be involved with some rich, uh, you know, auto body, auto sales person. That's where I'm getting from this. Previous total by an insurance adjuster due to a crash. So a call is made from Murray's phone, Reliance Auto here. Amherst, <clears throat> which has its own auto body shop, specialized in selling used cars. <clears throat> they have salvage titles. These vehicles have been previously totaled out by an insurance adjuster <clears throat> due to a crash. So not only is she in a friggin' uh, <laughs> crooked love triangle, she was a crooked salesman. Iranian... Amir McHickey McHitchy owns Reliance Auto. McHitchy, I don't even know what the hell that name is. Property on Belchertown Road, uh, southeast summer surrounds better the Cumberland Farm store. I looked at last night up on Google Maps, <clears throat> which was between 1978-1983, owned by CJ Enterprise. So that was 2007. Now why, in all God's earth name, supposedly her Saturn had damage be before her crashing in the snowbank. <clears throat> but on 2-8, now she crashes her father's Toyota early Sunday morning at the intersection of North Haley Road and Roosevelt Street. Uh, about a mile from the southwest dorms. This is all close together, boy. I looked it up on Google Maps. And she was not sighted for the crash. But it does not say either. What the hell um, made her crash? Uh... The Corolla is told to see an NJ Enterprise and C. Was that the C? Yeah, CJ Enterprise. So it was towed to this auto body shop. Supposedly, which I think these guys are crooked. Alliance Auto Body. $10,000 worth of damage. Now, if there was $10,000 worth of damage, don't you think this car would be friggin' totaled? I mean, she had to have hit something damn hard to be making $10,000 worth of damage. Now, at the road site, which I'm going to get to in a minute, is is a T. You come to a T. So a T in the road means you ain't got no way to go straight. So I don't know if she ran the stop sign, banged into the guardrail. It's hard to say because they don't explain none of that in any of the stories yet. I haven't seen it yet. But to me, if she didn't get sighted, and she must have messed up the front of the car, maybe the radiator or something. I mean, this couldn't have been a real serious crash. But a uh, tow truck driver gives her a ride to Russell Street Motel, located approximately two miles away where her father is staying. Now, she's in the college. Makes me wonder why she going to Russell Street, because I haven't looked 
into that yet. And then again, I don't know how soon she contacted her father on this, but it don't say that she didn't. I mean, this is this is how this friggin' Reddit stuff comes out. You get some of the story, of course, not all of it. But they seem to know a lot. So here we have... Now here we have a map I want to show this first. This is the 112 Dirtbag Stomping Grounds. And this gets real interesting, I tell you. Real friggin' interesting on where this man... <laughs> See that little red dot? That's supposedly where the 112 dirt bag lives. You see the Hadley down there. And this is how close he is to the University of Massachusetts Amherst. So all in all, oh, 16 here is, uh, if you see that 16, there's Roosevelt um, uh, Street there off the air. <clears throat> going straight up north down below of course is a route <clears throat> but the route starts right there and I think that I forgot what number that is but Roosevelt's the uh, gray road going north so as you can see there's a T there there's farmland there so that's about around where the area where she was when she got into that Toyota Corolla accident and uh but as you can see, Mr. 112 Dirtbag. And what's getting more fucking interesting in this story <clears throat> is that he said that he um, worked at a cafe, I believe. Last night I looked up cafes in Hadley, Mass. And this immediately, boom. I don't know, I want to know from anybody. Give me a comment. Give me a goddamn comment if it ever happened to you. For whatever reason you're looking up, give me a damn comment. I want to know. I want to <clears throat> type in cafes in Hadley, Mass. Because usually Google Maps gives locations to, um, say, like a new restaurant opens up. I get these all the time. New restaurant opened up in Springfield. One did. I forgot what it was, but there was a new one that came up. Boom. It says things you might be interested in to go try. So they're telling me, Google Maps, go try this. Now, <clears throat> so when I'm typing in cafes in, go on, you know, Haley Mass, bang, you'd think this would come up. It did, but after this... And something mysteriously stopped maps from searching this area. <laughs> what? Whoa. Somebody got something out there pinpointed so you can't find somebody? But, luckily, you know, I was talking to my wife on this. She, I mean, she's not interested in my stuff anyways, but I went, I spoke out loud because I was like, holy shit. Because I ain't never had this happen. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. I want to know if anybody else had this happen. Please let me know. And she was like, oh, what? And you know, I told her what went wrong. And then I said, frigget, I'm going to go back and see what I type in. <laughs> Did it again. Hit the friggin' search thing. And then this came up. <laughs> see, cafes in Hadley, Mass. Now something really crazy in this. See this cafes in Massachusetts, 47, Hadley, Mass. Now there I have that 47 silver circle. There is no house on Silver Street or Silver Circle or anything with the number 47 that's relevant to any type of house but why in all God's name would it come up 47 here unless like I say route 47 is in Hadley Mass in Amherst found that out but there's no I think there's I gotta go to the next page but when I saw that 47 my mouth, you know, my friggin' eyes bog out of my head. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. 
what's going on with the 47? I tried looking at cafes with address for 47. That didn't come up. But the Route 47 comes up. <clears throat> so when I got through all that, damn, I don't know what the hell this was. But when I got this, and over here, there's three cafes. Be throughout this area, we have the es Esalon Cafe, Coffee Roasting, Pulse Cafe, and Freedom Cafe. The Freedom Cafe, mind you, is very close to Amherst College. I went immediately on their website to check out to see what it looked like. And they say that, oh, reading some results from customers. And lo and behold, people at this cafe, kids volunteer from the college. Probably, you know, for... <clears throat> um, Maybe to get uh, points or something for being a college worker, or you know, get you know money off of their books for volunteer something, whatever the case may be. Kids volunteer at that place, college. Hmm. 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 Ha uh -huh. Who do you think goes to these cafes? Sits there and have a cup of joe. Sits there and stares at people. Huh? Do I get to spark something there? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Maybe Maura Murray contributes some time at this cafe. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Think about it, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying nothing right yet, but moving on. 47. Golden Court. Golden Court's right off 47. Hmm. We all know, if you don't know, who lives on Golden Court. Yeah. But I gotta get going on this. I got a freaking appointment today early, but I just wanted to spark some. <laughs> huh? I'm gonna get you all in the next video on some more stuff I recovered, but. Get some ideas, get some thoughts thinking here, people. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Something crazy evolving here. I forget which cafe I think might be on Route 47, but all in all, all in all, something with this route, something with the 47, or something with that damn cafe. I don't know. Something crazy here. Something crazy. Out.